blog. Um, I, I don't remember the year I contacted the company. I'm trying to remember. Like, like um, ballpark. Was it like a, two years ago or five years ago? Oh gosh, I don't know. Like, let's see. So I did, okay. So I did the quilt along in 2016. It wasn't even 2017. And I probably did um, the Hello Kitty probably either two years before that. So 2016, so probably 2014. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, really interesting. Any other intellectual property things that you want to chat about or tell me of your experiences, copyrights or trademarks or anything like that? No, I think that's the only one that I have run into. I'm always, it was always fascinating because one of my other friends, um, Angela, she did a Super Mario quilt. And I was thinking like, I think Nintendo is notorious for going after people, right? Mm -hmm. So I, she didn't, she was worried that Nintendo, like after I said that stuff about Hello Kitty, she was worried about Nintendo, she had released her pattern on Super Mario and, um, and she was like, do you have any advice? And I said, no, I have no advice. <laughs> no like, <laughs> my advice is probably the worst advice. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, what I did was I reached out to the company, like I reached out to the company and like, I think ultimately you didn't, you don't when you're you're basing your quilt pattern like that on that character you don't have to like, like in my mind you don't have to say hey company i'm doing this right and because the company is going to be like well hey you can't do that you're gonna you're gonna compete with our betting line and i'm like what do, what does that even mean you know like and like and i think well it's funny because if i have had thought about the nintendo one nintendo doesn't have a betting line <laughs> You know, they have video games. So I don't know. So yeah, I have never ran into another, like I do have another pixelated quilt that I was going to do for my friend, Jen. And, um, but it's based on a, off of a Korean character, a Korean cartoon, but I have never done any more. You said you like, liked Adventure Time. Have you done anything with Adventure Time? No, I haven't done anything with Adventure Time. I should though. Totally. If I have time. Right. You have to have, totally. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me look at my list real quick. Um, okay. This is so awesome. Thank you for taking all this time. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah. So anything else you think we should be thinking about? So one, So the stuff you just talked about of characters, of popular characters and quilts, um, that's one of the areas we're researching and we're doing a ton of work on it sort of deep dive mm -hmm. and then also talking to the companies and really getting a sense of where their worry point is because um, I think it has shifted over time. There's a Star Trek case that kind of tells us that they don't worry about little things anymore, um, at least many companies. So um, so that's one of the research areas that we'll be doing over the next year or two. Um, any oh, other things? That, yeah, um, it'll be really interesting to see that because we've done these – so we have done a, another project on video games and the law that was published by Rutledge, and we were doing another project with content industries and cosplay. So we can kind of see mm -hmm. all of these spaces of like what mm -hmm. that industry is interested in. So kind of like the quilting one, but it's a, it's a different, uh, different project. But is there anything else, since we're at the very beginning of this project, um, we're the first six months, um, that you maybe we should be thinking about um, that we wouldn't, questions that you have that have come up that we might not think about asking? Gosh, I don't know. Like, I think that, I think the, the modern cult guild movement is interesting. Yeah. I think that um, just documenting how that has evolved over the last, like, gosh, close to 10 years, I think would be interesting and fascinating to ask about. Um, derivatories, like if you make a quilt based on something like where, where is the line? You know, like, um, I think where, where do you say, hey, I need to ask the artist's permission because my artwork, where, where's that line? Where, where do you ask permission and where do you just make your art? Yeah. You know, because you, you are motivated and inspired by that work of art that you were like, hey, I want, 
to make something similar to what I saw that moved me. So I always think those are the like the key questions, the two key two key issues that we're always fascinated by, like I'm fascinated by. Super interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, I am uh, super psyched to chat with you. And when Sotopia gets in an area near me, I will definitely come and experience it for real. Uh, it just looked like an enormous amount of fun. Um, so everyone, it was just like, I can't quite describe it. Um, you really do have to, it's not just the pictures of like, oh, lots of people. There was just an energy there that was so awesome. So um, at some point when you're back towards the South, I'll have to come um, come play with you guys. But um, Back to the New Orleans area. Right, yeah. Exactly. I love the, I, it's funny because I love the New Orleans area and I think that was probably the first like, my toe dipping into like, Hey, let's go to a place that has super great culture, great food. I'm a foodie at heart. So that's another thing. Like, and I was like, I got a new Orleans has always been on my foodie bucket list. Yeah. Is and it easier so, in cities with, that are built like new Orleans is built for something like you to come in. Do you see a difference in cities that are kind of super geared towards the, you know, things coming in and out quickly is it different in terms of organization here's the funny thing because I thought like yeah you know like we we it's funny because you asked about logistics like you know and every hotel is different and they I always learn more and more from like the hotel industry the hospitality industry of what questions I need to ask um New Orleans was fine but what was funny was I talked I think we do surveys too at the end of each event. And so that helps us like get better at what we do. Right. And we always take their feedback um, personally and sometimes not personally. Um, one of the girls I was talking to her um, or one of the attendees and she's attended uh, a couple of the different, like both styles, both the fall one and the spring one. She said, I don't care what city you go to. And I was like, I'm just here to sell. And I was like, really? You know, like, right? that was super fascinating to me. So it's funny because we're going to Boston and I want people to experience Boston and its history. You know what I mean? Like, and so it's super interesting that like, he doesn't care. That's really interesting. Yeah. And so- Are you guys going to go up to the New England Quilt Museum? Prob- well, I don't know if the New England, there's a quilt museum in Milwaukee Interesting. that will probably see about attending if possible. I hate saying stuff that like, it's funny because I, we always try to announce our next location during like, so if we're, we're at New Orleans, I always try to announce the next location for them, yeah. right? So that they can start getting excited. And they're like, I have super like quilters and sewists they're super A type personalities. They're super planners, or majority of them are. So I always like, hey, this is where we're going next. Plan, plan here, you know. And I didn't have the hotel contract done in New Orleans, and so I couldn't announce. And people were like, they're kind of like trying to guess, and they're trying to like, <laughs> trying to get it out of me, right? Like for like That's like funny. we weeks on end like you know after after new orleans they were like hey when are we getting no when are we going to know because each event too like and you don't see this um we develop a facebook group so for each event they have this like there's always like about 40 to 60 members in the facebook group so you can't account for all 80 80 attendees but that's where their little community and that's where they can talk about their projects and talk about travel or if they need a roommate, you know, but like that, the New Orleans Facebook group was like kind of getting restless with me because I hadn't announced. And I said, um, we weren't going to announce until I had everything finalized. And so what do you think your position is with them? How do you feel like they look to you? I mean, are you there? You know, like, what what role do you fill? Do you become like a uh, leader, mentor, facilitator, sort of who are you to the people that are part of the Facebook group and showing up to these events? I feel like I'm just the party organizer. 
you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, hey, um, this is your party agenda and you can stick to it or you can deviate from it. Um, I don't hold it personally if you like don't attend to the schedule, you know what I mean? Like, so I feel like I'm their party organizer. I don't think I'm an influencer at all. Like, I don't think like, Hey, you know, like, um, do what I do or I influence you to be a better quilter or something like that. I don't, I just feel like I'm a a good party organizer. I like that. I like that. Well, again, thank you for all your time today. We are going to be doing this for a while. So if something interesting comes up, but you want to come chat, um, let me know. We are having repeat it's really about conversations not about sort of filling slots we don't really care how many people we interview so so um yeah. we would love to keep chatting with you and maybe come back when i learn more and have more conversations because um we are learning a, a ton um and it's really interesting to see so yeah great thanks for spending the time with me fabulous i'll let you know when it's posted and um thanks so much okay thanks elizabeth all right take care Bye bye Bye. So this is Elizabeth Townsend Guard. You've been listening to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. We want to hear from you. Join our army, our quilting army. Go to our Facebook page. Suggest people to be interviewed. Suggest yourself to be interviewed. We are excited to hear from you. But most importantly, I hope you get a chance to quilt today.